In this video, I'll demonstrate the preparation and evaluation of two different aggregate plans. This question corresponds to problem 13.11 in your text. Here we have a health and beauty products company that's developed a new shampoo and has asked you to develop its aggregate schedule. The cost accounting department supplied you with relevant cost information to the aggregate plan and the marketing department has provided a four quarter forecast as shown in the table below. Additional information presented shows that the previous quarter's output is 1,500 units. There's no beginning inventory. The stock out costs for back orders is $50 per unit. The inventory holding cost is $10 per unit at the end of every quarter. Hiring costs are $40. Layoff costs are $80 per unit. The unit cost of production is $30. Overtime is $15 per extra unit and subcontracting is not available. Our objective here is to develop an aggregate plan for the next four quarters. Requirement A, using a chase plan by hiring and layoffs to meet the forecast as necessary. And then B, a plan that holds employment steady. If you've watched the previous aggregate planning videos I created relating to problems 13.3 through 13.6, this one is slightly different. Because we're dealing with quarters versus months, the hiring and layoff costs will be recognized in the quarter rather than the previous month, as illustrated in the previous videos. In addition, we'll be determining the total cost, including the cost of regular production. We didn't do that in the previous videos because the cost of regular production was not provided. The other difference with this question is, rather than just stocking out and then not refilling the orders, this question actually fills back orders first, and then any new orders are filled. So for requirement A, with our chase plan that meets the forecast and adjusts workforce, we've got a total of six columns in our table here, the period, the forecast, the production. This time I included a column to indicate the change in production from one quarter to the next that would help determine whether or not we will need to hire or lay off. I've also included quarter four production of 1,500 units to start. In quarter one, the forecast is 1,400 units and production is also 1,400 units. You can see that there's a change of 100 units from the previous quarter. Production has dropped from 1,500 to 1,400 units. So that's a decrease of 100 units that will result in layoffs equivalent to 100 units of production. In quarter two, forecast and production are both 1,200 units. Again, they're the same because the chase plan is meeting the forecast. This results in a change in production from quarter one to quarter two of a reduction of 200 units, resulting in layoffs equivalent to 200 units of production. Quarter three, production and forecast are 1,500 units. That results in an increase in production from the previous quarter of 300 units, which means the company will have to hire additional workers to produce 300 equivalent units. In quarter four, forecast and production, 1,300 units. That's a drop of production of 200 units from the previous quarter, resulting in 200 units of layoffs. The total costs of this plan then are regular production of 5,400 units only for the four quarters. You can ignore the green Q4 production from the previous year. So 5,400 units of regular production at a cost of $30 per unit is $162,000. Over the year, 300 equivalent units of hires were required at a cost of $40 per unit for a total of $12,000. And the equivalent to 500 units were laid off over the four quarter period at a rate of $80 per unit for a total layoff cost of $40,000. Therefore, the total cost of this chase plan is $214,000. The second plan is a level plan that meets the forecast and includes a stable workforce. Under this plan, here's where we will rely on stockouts, which will then need to be filled as back orders, inventory holding costs, and the cost to hire or lay off any staff as required. There are no back orders or inventory to start with from the previous quarter. So in quarter one, forecast is 1,400 units and production will be the average of all four quarters, which is 1,350 units. That's what a level plan is. Zero beginning inventory plus 1,350 produced minus 1,400 sold is a shortage of 50 units. Therefore, there's no inventory holding cost, but there will be a stock out cost. In addition, because the production in the fourth quarter of the previous year was 1,500 units and the company is now shifted to producing 1,350 units, that's a reduction of production of 150 units. And therefore, we must recognize that this will result in a layoff of 150 equivalent units. In quarter two, the forecast is 1,200 units, production is 1,300. That means production exceeded demand of 150 units, but don't forget the 50 units that was stocked out the previous period as back ordered that must be filled first. Therefore, at the end of quarter two, 100 units are held in inventory. There are no stock out costs and no additional hiring or layoff costs because the production is now constant at 1,350 units per quarter. 
quarter three, forecast 150 units, production 1,350. This was a result in a negative inventory or a stock out of 50 units because we had 100 units remaining at the end of quarter two. We produced 1,350 for a total of 1,450 units. The forecast was 1,500, so we're only 50 units short. That results in the stock out. Quarter four, production is 1,350 units. The forecast is 1,300 units. That's 50 units in excess, which will go to fill the back order of 50 units from the previous quarter, resulting in no inventory, stock out costs, and no additional hiring or layoff costs. The total cost for this plan, first with regular production, 5,400 units at $30 is $162,000 in production costs. Inventory holding costs, only in quarter two, had inventory of 100 units at a cost of $10 for a total of $1,000. Quarters one and three, we saw stockouts of 50 units per quarter for a total of 100 units at a cost of $50 for a total of $5,000 in stockout costs. There were no hires over the year and in quarter one due to the change in production from quarter four of the previous year to quarter one of the current year, there's the equivalent to 150 units of production laid off at a cost of $80 for a total of $12,000. Therefore, the cost of this level plan with a stable workforce is $180,000. And comparing the two plans, the level plan B is the least expensive of the two options. 